Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we are going to discuss how to run mediation analysis in Adenco. It may be quite possible that a construct may be affecting the another construct directly or through the indirect route. Let us understand this concept by a simple layman example. Y1 is affecting Y2 through P3. That's, that's a P3 is a path coefficient and Y1 is also affecting Y2 through m, m is a mediation. So, y1 affecting m, the path coefficient is p1, m affecting y2, the path coefficient is p2. So, the combined effect is p1 into p2. The figure above gives the example of the mediation analysis, where m is the mediation. So, the total effect will be the direct effect plus the indirect effect, the summation of direct effect plus indirect effect. The direct effect is p3, you can see here. And the indirect effect is P1 into P2. So, if X1 is affecting Y directly and there is no mediation, we will say that there is a no mediation which is affecting. It may be quite possible that X is affecting Y directly and also through the mediator. So, in this case, we can say that the partial mediation is there because the direct effect is also active or rather significant and indirect effect is also significant. It may also be possible that X is not affecting Y directly, it is only affecting to the mediation and this is known as a full mediation. Now to analyze the mediator model, Zhao et al. suggested the, this follow this flow chart. Let us understand. The first question is, is P1, P2 significant? The question here is, is P1, P2 significant? See this one, P1 and P2 significant? If the answer is yes, is P3 significant, that is direct, yes, is P1, P2, P3 positive, then it is known as a partial mediation, also known as a complementary mediation. If, if, if the multiplication of P1, P2, P3 is negative, it is known as a competitive partial mediation. Now again, we will ask the same question, is P1, P2 significant, yes, is P3 significant, that is a direct eff effect is significant, no, we will say it is a full mediation. Now, is P1, P2 significant? No. Is P3 significant? Yes. Then it means that it is a only direct effect. No mediation present. The last scenario, is P1, P2 significant? No. Is P3 significant? No. Therefore, it means that no mediation is present. Now, how to run the mediation analysis? Let's see in Edenco. I'll request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous videos to understand the flow of this lecture series. Here, we want to say, let me drag this, I want to connect this. Organizational commitment is affecting the staying intention of an employee directly or it may be affecting through the mediation and here we consider job satisfaction as a mediation. So, organizational commitment affecting the job satisfaction, job satisfaction affecting the staying intention. Now, are the indirect effects significant, significant or not? For that, we will go in, run. We will run the bootstrapping. We will click generate. Make sure use bootstrapping is on. Again, press generate. Save and run. Now, we will click on the results. And you will have to click on this bootstrapping. You will get a direct effect also and indirect effect also. Now, first thing which you should see is, is direct effect significant? You can see here organizational affecting, organizational commitment affecting the staying intention. First, we will have to ch check, is direct effect significant or not? So, you can see here this value, it is less than 0 0.05. So, we can say that the organizer's com commitment of an employee is affecting the staying intention of an employee. So, this path coefficient is significant. Direct effect is significant. But what about the indirect effect? Let us see that. Now, we will see organizational commitment affecting the staying intention and let us see its p-value. Its p-value is more than 0 0.05, which means that the indirect effect is insignificant. I again repeat, here as the p-value is more than 0 0.05, 
the indirect effect is insignificant. Now, what is our interpretation? Let us understand. Direct effect without mediator, it is significant. Indirect effect with mediator is insignificant and therefore we can say that there is no mediation. Now, there can be another possibility that there are multiple mediations which can be there in your model. Let us understand how. Let me disconnect this. And let me connect this organizational commitment. So, there can be there can be multiple mediations which can affect. Again, I will go and run. Save and run. And I want to see that the environmental perception affecting the staying intention of an employee directly and is it affecting indirectly or not. So for this, I will go in. Again, I will go in. Results. Activate the bootstrapping. First of all, I will see the direct effect. Which direct effect I will have to see? Let me see. Environmental perception to the staying intention. Let us see its direct effect. Just a minute. You click on bootstrapping. Yeah, here it is. Envir environmental perception to the staying intention. The direct effect is significant. Now let's talk about the indirect effect. Make it sure that you go from bootstrapping. Environmental perception to staying intention. Its p value is less than its p value is more than 0 0.04, and therefore the indirect effects are insignificant. Here the total effect will be the summation of the direct effect and indirect effect, which we have already discussed. So for more videos on Edenco, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos of Edenco. Please don't forget to press the like button. You can also follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.